How to connect PS5 to Go XLR. I'm also going to show you how to hook this up. HD60S Plus Capture Card by Elgato. So I'm going to put timestamps in the description or in the comment section or in the video itself. Save you a bit of time. So you finally managed to get one of these. Now who would have thought these would have become so hard to get hold of? It took me well over a year to get mine. How long did it take to get yours? You'll notice PS5 does not come with an optical cable. So I'm going to show you how to hook that up. Things you will need. Two HDMI cables. One optical cable. Also the PS5 and the Go XLR. You will need a HDMI switch box. There are many different ones on the market. So depending on what your budget is and your needs. But it needs to have an audio extractor and an optical cable port. Now I'm not sponsored by this company. But this is what I've been using for quite a while now. It's called the Test Smart Switch. You can do 4K60. It has four inputs, one output, and optical cable port. Now, as the time of making this video, there are no 2.1 HDMI splitters, but there will be eventually in the next year, possibly two. It's not like you can really go out and buy any of the monitors or TVs because they're ridiculously expensive unless you can afford that. Now with the connections, now I made the simple to use diagram here. You just need to follow that. So step one, get your HDMI cables from your gaming consoles. Now in my case, I have a PS4 and a PS5. So just get the HDMI cables from them and plug them into the inputs. Now I put my PS4 and PS5 into slots one and two, then get another HDMI cable, plug it into the output there. That then goes into your TV or monitor. Then step three, just get your optical cable and stick it in the optical cable port on the switch box. And then plug that into your Go XLR and you are done. Now I'm gonna show you how to hook up your capture card. Now this isn't particularly that difficult. If you've just skipped to this bit, the previous diagram is almost exactly the same as the next diagram I'm about to show you. But it's pretty straightforward and uh, let's get to it. How to connect your HDMI switch box to your capture card. Now first of all, if you've just skipped to this bit, I just need to explain a couple of things. So it might be a bit confusing. Or you can just probably follow the diagram. It's pretty straightforward. So anyway, first of all, you need a switch box. Now there are many different ones on the market. So depending on what your budget is, the one thing you need is an audio extractor and an optical cable port. Now I would highly recommend this one, the Test Smart Switch Box. And this can do 4K60. This also has four inputs, one output, and an optical cable port. Now there will eventually be, this will probably be a bit outdated because eventually there's going to be 2.1 HDMI port switch boxes. But at the moment of making this video, I don't think any exist. And it's still relatively new. And the TVs and monitors cost a fortune. So most likely you probably don't have that anyway. But anyway, once you've got the switch box, you just need to get your games console. So on this diagram, I have the PS5 and the PS4. So I just get the HDMI cables, run them into the inputs. There's, like I say, there's four. So I put mine in one and two. And you get another HDMI cable, you plug that into the output there. The output cable then runs into the input of your capture device. So mine's the HD60S Plus. And then once that's in there, you then have to get another HDMI cable, put it in the out port on the capture card here, and that goes into your TV or monitor. There's also another cable that needs to go into your gaming PC or your PC. And then once that's done, you're ready to go. I'll put links in the comments or the description of all the items I used in this video. Now there is one step I forgot to mention, but this is only to do with the capture card. Now, with the capture card, you have to set up once before using the split up, otherwise it won't work because you won't be able to get a connection. So what you need to do is go into your PlayStation, go into your settings, go into your HDMI settings, and enable HDCP as it is here. Now if I switch this off now, you'll notice the whole screen goes blank. It will flare up once. And then all I have to do is then re-enable it. And there we go, it works fine now. So that's the only thing you have to do is just make sure that's up and running, otherwise it won't work. I made this mistake the first time around. And then there's nothing else really you need to do. And then you just uh, record your gameplay on your PC or stream. I'm just going to show you me playing some Vanguard now. So I'm now recording on my Elgato capture card with the HDMI switch box connected into the gaming console and I'm running a PS5 
and I'm playing Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, I originally was thinking about doing some sort of like highlight reel or something like that, but I wasn't particularly sure. Or just a straight up gameplay, but I recently had this game where I managed to get attacked dogs twice in a very short period of time. I thought that would make some kind of a better video, really. And uh, so here we go. I'm playing um, this house, uh, patrol on hardcore. And I'm just about to get my dogs, I think. You will take. <laughs> what I don't know is I've just dropped the cipher, which means basically if I die, which just happened there, I uh, my kill streaks carry over. I didn't actually expect to get the dogs. And also a flamethrower. The spawns, if you've, if you've actually played this game, the spawns at the moment are currently ridiculously bad and they're probably the worst they've ever been. I mean, the whole game is pretty awful. I mean, you'd have thought they would have probably put time and effort into actually making the game more playable, but at the moment, not really playable at all. And you're going to see how bad the spawning is shortly. I'm just trying to get on my various different challenges at the moment as well, like the rocket challenges. And uh, I'm just trying to get as many flamethrower kills as I can in this game. The flamethrower itself is pretty overpowered though, I must say, as well. The range on it is absolutely ridiculous, as you'll see. I think it's probably like 15 to 20 meters, give or take. All my players are running in front of me, thanks. Something I also did notice about the flamethrower, and uh, a lot of people seem to... This happens a lot. Like, I will go out my way to take out someone as soon as the enemy has a flamethrower. I'll get a light machine gun and I'll go to town on it, but some people just don't bother. That's why they tend to last a lot longer. Wild. I think this is it. The fire there. There's loads of them in front of me. There we go. Then the spawns automatically shift. They're all spawning on the other side of the map. Then bang, they spawn right in front of me. I like panic. So I was like, oh my god, they're there. <laughs> and then I was like, oh no. I managed to get it. I think that was pretty much sheer luck there. It scared the hell out of me because they just like spawned right in front of me. I was like, whoa. But I don't, my life doesn't really last long with this. I pretty much, I took a hell of a lot of damage in that short period of time. A rush in their spawn. I'm getting heavy hits here. This is the interesting bit about the spawning, so. Go in their spawns. Still loads of them. The spawns should really normally switch, but a guy spawns directly behind me and unloads a half a clip into me before I have time to react. <laughs> I think I get killed in a second now. First of all, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section, I'll see what I can do, unless someone answers it before I can. Also, anyone who's liked or subscribed to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. It's greatly appreciated. This is going to be my new gaming channel. My previous channel was kind of a mixed bag, so I wanted to separate that, really. So, this one, I'm just going to do gaming-related stuff, so it's going to be things from using emulators, long plays, me streaming, reviews, how-to guides, my opinions on some games. I'd also like to say that my old account I will link to this new account unless you randomly came across my account through randomly scrolling at 2 o'clock in the morning while eating your bowl of cereal and then saw one of my thumbnails and thought, you know what, I'm going to click on that. And then when you clicked on that five seconds later, you probably clicked off that. But thank you for clicking on that. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I'd like to wrap this up with is uh, I'll put my links in the description of some of the streaming things I will do. I'm going to stream mainly on YouTube, but I'll probably do some on Twitch as well. And uh, if I don't see you, good morning, good evening, and good night. And also, happy streaming.